name is Richard Cruz. Uh, with Kathy Flanders, I'm co-chair of the Council on Palliative Care. And I would very much like to welcome you to the 16th Senator Goldberg Lecture. Well, there have always been, I mean, palliative care is about pain and symptom control. So that's one of the advantages advances and I, I would say that another one is the legacy project how to leave a legacy and to listen to people um, but I don't think that palliative care has changed very much in I mean people have always died and some people have known how to handle it and some people haven't uh, the only way I think perhaps that it changes is that we can get more people involved there wasn't anything I felt I should have said that I didn't say, but there were things I wished I'd asked. From my work as a volunteer in palliative care, I, I learned a, a couple of things that, that are deeply personal to me, and I'm not really sure that it would be pertinent to anyone else, but I, I, I do know that people tend to die the way they live. And if they were outgoing, have a deep spiritual belief in their lives, then that will be affect how they die. Um, so the, the most important thing I learned and what I hope to do when my time comes is to be true to myself and if I want to talk to the people around me about the fact that I'm dying or talk about my life, then that's what I'll do. Um, if I want to be private about it and quiet about it, that's important as well. Um, it is though, very, very powerful to be able to live until you die. And that's really what palliative care is about. And I'm sure as elders as well, it's important to know that it's not really about dying, it's about living until the very last moment. And that's that's the great gift you give yourself and, and those who love you. The great gift for me was to be able to talk to mom about the things she'd always loved to talk about. And in the case of my mother when she was dying, that was books. So we talked about books because that was one of her favorite subjects. So my advice, such as it is to anybody, is engage with people on the subjects they love. If, if they love to talk about sports, talk about sports. If it's music, if it's popular culture, if it's puzzles. Um, for me, the great gift was continuing to enjoy my mother's life while she was still alive. And, and that would be the advice that I would give to anybody. My advice for young people is now is the time to ask questions and ask questions about your elders' lives and, and about their experiences and, and try to get their stories in as much as they want to tell them. Not in an intrusive way, but, but share. Um, ask, ask. They don't have to answer. Don't push them if they don't want to. But it's a great opportunity to, to make sure these stories don't die but really live on.